All right, let's start off. <coughs> One thing I have to say is um, them as a team, they've, they've mentioned uh, several cases of accidents that have happened in power plants, um, just, just as an example for their, for their argument. But at the same time, they are mentioning um, accidents. Therefore, um, how will this reflect into the future if there's going to be an increase in power plants? And yeah, technology might um, increase and you know, whatever. But at the same time, um, all, there's all kinds of technology that we come up with and then realize there's flaws in it. And there could be flaws in this. And this is a huge, um, huge increase in technology or um, step in technology. Um, secondly, um, the advocate um, uses an example of uh, Patrick Moore from the Washington Post. Well, Patrick Moore is just a reporter. And he, he really doesn't much say, and he's not a scientist and stuff. So he, he has only so much um, to say, qualification to say about nuclear power plants. Um, the other thing is that, the, that he mentions is cost versus nuclear power versus coal. Well, I found I found an article in a graph that state that goes over the um, the elements that they use for both nuclear and nuclear power and coal. And then the total, it's uh, for nuclear, it would be $30, $30 per megawatt per hour. While in coal, it's $29.1 um, per megawatt per hour. Um, so under this graph, um, it's, it's easy to see that, that uh, coal is, is, is cheaper. And, and it might be only by point, you know, nine cent, I mean, um, nine, you know, point nine of a dollar. <coughs> But when that when you add that up to multiple amounts of, of nuclear power plants and and and, and, a, and a lots of time that that money really does make a big difference. Um, the other thing um, I want to go over is is again the, the safety. Well, um, there's really high consequences for um, for accidents in these safeties, like I've mentioned before. Um, for example, in this in this article, uh, in this article called um, "Issues: Nuclear Energy and Waste," uh, it claims that uh, the World Health Organization found that the fallout from the explosion was incredibly. Oh, this is related to Chernobyl, by the way. Um, the explosion was incredibly far-reaching for the time. For a time, radiation levels in um, Scotland, over fourteen hundred miles away. Um, were 10,000 times the norm. That's that's a big increase. Um, thousands of cancer deaths were in a direct result of this of the accident. So, once again, taking account for um, an accident happening. And um, last or lastly, I want to cover um, for energy. Um, they claims that that it's it, it, uh, it's more energy efficient and. and well, under this, this article, uh, nuclear power not efficient enough to replace fossil fuels, um, it says that nuclear energy production must increase by more than 10% each year from 2010 to 2050 to meet all future energy demands and replace fossil fuels. But this is an unsustainable, uh, unsustainable prospect. According to the report published in the Inter-Science Inter International Journal of Nuclear Governance, Go Governance economy and ecology, such a large um, such a large growth rate will require a major improvement in nuclear power efficiency. Otherwise, each new power plant will simply cannibalize the energy produced by um, earlier nuclear power plants. So it's a big process to take to take into it. So that's just what I wanted to cover. Um, so yeah.